Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. There is a semicircle with six points A, B, C, D, E, F on its arc. A and F are also the end points of the diameter. In addition, there are other three points O, P, and Q on the diameter. We construct four triangles by connecting these points. It is known that these four triangles are all isosceles triangles. And they are all similar to each other. Then, how big are their vertex angles? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. It is easy to get some intuitions from the figure. Are the red triangle and blue triangle congruent? Are the yellow and green triangles also congruent? So is point P the center of the circle? If all the answers are yes, we should be able to solve this question easily. So let's prove these assumptions one by one. First, let's prove that the red and blue triangles are congruent. To do this, we connect B, F, and E, A, respectively. Since A, F, is the diameter, angle, A, B, F and angle, F, E, A, are right angles. Angle, A, F, B, and angle, F, A, E, are complementary to angle, B, A, F, and angle, E, F, A, respectively. The angle, B, A, F, and E, F, A, are the base angles of these two similar triangles, so they are equal. So, we obtain that, the angle, A, F, B, is equal to the angle, F, A, E. These two angles are the inscribed angles subtended by the chords, A, B, and, E, F, respectively. So A, B, is equal to E, F. When the corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal, the similar triangles must be congruent. Now let's prove that, the yellow and green triangles are also congruent. First of all, the base angles on the left side of all similar triangles must be equal. So the legs on the left side are all parallel to each other. For the same reason, the right legs are also parallel to each other. In the following, we plot the symmetrical figure about the diameter AB. And we obtain a complete circle. The isosceles triangle, A, B, O, and their symmetrical triangle, A, W, O, are put together to construct a rhombus. The opposite sides, W, O, and, A, B, of this rhombus must be parallel to each other. We have already proved that, O, C, and, A, B, are also parallel. So the points, W, O, and C, are on the same line. For the same reason, other corresponding points are also on the same lines. Now, we connect, B, C, and, E, D, respectively. Angle, B, C, W, and angle, E, D, Z, are the inscribed angles subtended by arcs, B, W, and E, Z, respectively. These two arcs are twice the arcs, A, B, and twice the arcs, F, E, so they are also equal to each other. So the angle, B, C, W, is equal to the angle, E, D, Z. According to the properties of parallel lines, the angles, B, O, C, and, E, Q, D, are equal to the vertex angles of these similar triangles, so they are also equal. So triangle, B, O, C, and triangle, E, Q, D, are similar. Don't forget that, B, O, and, E, Q, are equal. So triangle, B, O, C, and triangle, E, Q, D, are actually congruent. Then, we obtain that, O, C, and Q, D are equal. So the yellow and green triangles are also congruent. With these two sets of congruence relations, we get, A, O, and, Q, F, are equal. O, P, and P, Q are equal. So P bisects this diameter, and it must be the center of the circle. With these conclusions, the remaining problems are easily solved. Due to the existence of the parallel lines, there are already too many angles in the current figure that are equal to the vertex angles of the similar triangles. For example, the angle, C, P, D, 
which is also the central angle subtended by the arc CD. Other examples include the angle A, W, C, and the angle F, Z, D, which are the inscribed angles subtended by the arcs AC and the arcs FD, respectively. They are all equal to the vertex angles of the similar triangles, and of course equal to each other. So arcs AC and arcs FD are both equal to twice the arc CD. Then the arc CD is equal to one fifth of the semicircle. The angle CPD is therefore equal to 180 degrees divided by 5, which equals 36 degrees. In fact, points BCD and D divide this semicircle into 5 equal parts. That is easy to prove, right? Thank you for watching, and see you next time.